leg was without my pedal, I had to demonstrate you how to do a push up. So, when you're doing a push up, you're using your. Um, so, the muscles you're using when you do a push up are your pectoral major, bicep brachii, tricep brachii, and a serratus anterior. The joints that are involved are the hinge, which is your elbow, your ball and socket, which is your shoulder, and your scapula thoracic. There are two phases to your push up your downward and your upward phase. Um, when you're doing your downward phase, when you're on your downward phase, your elbows flex, and on your upward um, phase, your elbows extend. So there's a um, downward phase and there's the upward phase. The stabilizing muscles in the push up are the trunk muscles, which are your, um, your abdominals. Um, you must um, always um, contract um, your abdominals so that um, your butt doesn't stick out or doesn't come in. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a push up and I'm going to do a, pro a progression and a regression. So you need to get on the floor, flat, keep your hands on your side, and then your elbows tucked in, keep your head up, straight, and your feet and your toes close together. And, re and remember to keep your, your bum not high, or low, or less straight. And now I'm going to show you how to do a regression push up. So you need to get on your knees and then into um, a plank position with your arms a bit further apart and keep your arms under your. And also keep your hands under your shoulders. Also, when you're doing your regression and um, push up, you need to always keep your, um, your, your spine aligned and um, not to have your, um, your, um, your glutes um, sticking out or sticking in it. And now I'm going to show you how to do a, progress, a progression push-up. <clears throat> Only thing you need to do is bring your, arm, um, your hands together. Always keep your hands under your, um, your shoulders. And for this one, you need to um, have your hands um, down and you tap your chest um, must just touch your hands and then you go up. That's how you do your push up in different ways. Now I'm gonna explain how to uh, how to do a squat and the muscles that are involved. So the muscles that are involved are your gluteus maximus and your quadriceps and um, your and your stabilizing um, muscles are your back, um, lower back. So you need to um, flex your core to keep your back straight. And um, the joints that you're um, using when you're doing the squats are your ball and socket, hip, and your um, uh, hinge, which is your knee, and also your ankle. Movement from your start position, you will flex at the hip and your knees pushing your, uh, your glutes and keeping your, your knees behind your toes. Now, okay. now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a squat. So now I'm going to show you how to do a squat. So you, now I'm going to push my glutes back and um, keeping my knees behind my toes and this will protect my glutes with my choice.
So now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a squat and a progression and a regression squat. So the first thing you need to do um, is to have your feet um, wider than your hips a bit and then tilt your toes out, um, out wide a bit so that it will be safe for you. Um, so then now you're going to stick out your, your glutes and always make sure your back is um, straight up and your chest um, is sticking out so that um, you keep your spine straight and you don't injure yourself. Um, your knees must always be behind your toes when you're going down and you can keep your, um, your, um, your arms in front of you to keep yourself balanced and then you go up. Um, and up. So now I'm going to show you the progression for um, squat. So for this one, um, so for the progression of the squat, you can use the weights. You use the weights and you continue with the same position. Always keep your back straight and your chest sticking out and your eyes in front of you. The weights, um, You're using the weights um, to um, make the squat challenging. Um, the, stronger, the stronger you get, the more weights you add. And now I'm going to show you how to regress the squat. So now we're going to get a chair to support your movement. Um, you are still going to in the same movement, but then now, um, when you're going down, you, your glutes need to touch the chair. You're not going to sit down, you're just going to tap the chair with your glutes. Always make sure your back is straight, and your chest is sticking out, and your knees behind your toes. So for safety, make sure um, the chair is not on a slippery um, place so that you don't slip and injure yourself. Always make sure that there's um, someone assisting you when you do a new movement so that you, you don't injure yourself and that you always keep the correct form. 